Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button and remember to like this video. Now I have here my classic happy planner and I don't usually pull this one out quite often. So I am going to set up the first week of October in my happy planner and this is a dashboard layout. So if you wanna see how I put it all together, for my YouTube stuff, make sure you stay tuned. All right, so as I said, I do use this classic happy planner for all my things YouTube. I used to do social media and business and YouTube all in here, um, but all of the things just need different time commitments and stuff. So I have changed this just starting now, um, and it will be just for my YouTube. So for scheduling, ideas, thoughts, that kind of thing. So um, I did not use this thing for September one bit. I think I did, so see they're all empty. I did one week and this was using a um, sticker kit from Steph's Design Space. Oh, and I should mention that this custom cover is also from Steph's Design Space. She makes absolutely gorgeous custom covers, so make sure you check that out. Now, I did go ahead and already lay out the monthly view. Um, I put a few things that I know are happening in terms of my business side, and I only did that because it will affect my filming schedule. So, but that means we are now doing this week, October 4th to the 10th. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these sheets out and put this off to the side. And we can work on these sheets. Now, I feel like I have dust on my desk. I use my desk uh, not only for filming and for business, but I also do junk journaling. So I end up with little bits of paper everywhere. Is that straight? All right. Um, so I've also decided to do something different. I don't usually use a lot of my happy planner sticker books on camera, but I am going to this time. So I'm going to use this fall sticker book. This is from 2019. So it is one of the older ones, but I have them. I might as well start using them, right? So I feel like this is crooked. I don't know. All right, well, let's try to work with that. So let me get all of this set up just so I can make sure I'm filming properly and you can see everything. And then I'll come back and we'll get started with putting some stickers down. Okay, so I think we are now centered. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I usually like to start on this side and I'm going to pull out. I use this um, cute little pencil case that I got from the, oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it was one of the Be Happy boxes and I think it was in February. So um, I use it to keep my favorite pens and white out and such. So I'm just going to white out all of the headers because I don't use any of them whatsoever. All right, now let's go ahead and decide. Now, I haven't really gone through this book. I flipped through it a little bit, but I don't have anything specific set that I want to do. Now, I do know that these boxes will come in handy for the other page. I do like to add in quotes and such, so let's just look at what we have. Um, some deco, which is good. I know that there are some metallic, um, leaves, like there's these copper ones and then these greeny metallic ones that are gorgeous, but I don't know if I want to use those just yet. Then there's all of this deco, which is really cute. Uh, we have these for a bucket list, which I'm not doing right this second. I love this. I just, I love the copper and rose gold. Copper and rose gold are probably two of my favorites. See, this is rose gold. I love it. Um, rose gold nail polish, which I am running out. This is what I use, Sinful Colors. 
and I don't remember where I purchased this. I want to say either Walmart or probably not Dollarama or Dollar Tree, but um, I love this and I'm almost out. And it's called uh, Supernova. So I really like this. I need to find more. If you live in Canada or the Southern Ontario area and you know where it is, let me know because yeah, I love how it covers perfectly and it's so easy. Okay. Less focus on the nails, more focus on the planning. You all know I'm not about the nails, but when I try to do my nails pretty for all of you, it helps when everything, when it's easy. Oh, this page just came out. Okay. Now, I am not a pumpkin spice latte person. I know there's been a lot of that going around. Uh, I don't like pumpkin spice lattes, but I do like pumpkin pie, which has pumpkin spice, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this right here. Pumpkin spice everything. I think that is cute. This sticker says, oh, fall, it's nice to see you again. No, it's not nice to see you again. I am not, I'm not a fan. I do not like fall. I do not like the cold. I get cranky. All right, I'm going to put, where do I want to put this? I want to put this so that I'm not taking up too much room from my box down here. I put a lot of my analytics down here, so I want to make sure I have enough room to write. So this space should be okay. And I love these stickers here. These are clear stickers. I'm not going to go into the Halloween vibe just yet, but I may add this. Plaid is cute. And these pumpkins are just adorable. So I'll put those right there. Um, I love candles. Candles are one of my favorite things. I never, I never get to burn my candles in my office because I'm always afraid that I am going to ruin my lighting situation since my candle would sit right at the end of my desk and then my lights are just above. So... I never get to put my candles on. That's okay. All right, let's see. We have some nice leaves. Look at this cute squirrel. I'll have to add the squirrel. How adorable is he? Oh, he may not fit. Oh, that's a problem. Mm, he doesn't fit. Okay, let's put you down right there. What can I add? I know I can add some leaves. And I know it's not the same kind of, this is more cartoony, these were more solid colors, but that is okay. I'm okay with it. I really don't care. I just want it to look cute. And we'll no, put this one right there. We'll put a couple acorns because they are adorable. And... Let's see, maybe I can make this one fit around. I may have to trim it, but that's okay. Yeah. So I will just get my scissors and trim the edge off. All right, so we have that. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the center part of this. Now it's a matter of adding in the header kind of stickers. So I need some... In. There we go. So I will use this blue one right here. And let's do the green one right over here. And at the bottom, I usually put a larger box and then in it I will just write analytics. So let's go with this blue one with the acorns and then I will be able to add in all of my analytics for YouTube in in here so that is the first page so super easy um what I oh, here we go let me get my pen so I'm gonna use my Pentel Energel and here I do 
to film, and these are the ones that I really want to get filmed this week. I won't fill all of these boxes, but at least I will have enough. And then here are film ideas. So kind of if anything comes up that I have a thought, I could put it in here. Then I can either choose to schedule it on another day or I can just, you know, move on. So that is, oh, I should write analytics. Analytics. All right, so there is page one all done. Now we go on to this page. Put that one up there. Now this page doesn't get as much deco because I do need space to write. So let me just white out these dates here and I will see if there's a double box. I know there were some double boxes, but I wonder if there's one that's more deco and less functional because I don't usually use that box up there. So let's see what we can find. Those are functional. I feel like I may have skipped it. Go back. All right, no. I could always layer a couple boxes together to turn it into a double box. I don't think there's any double boxes that are more deco. I'm not seeing any. These are all functional. So I think I may just layer some of the single deco boxes here and see if I can make it look good. All right, so I'm going to go with this one and we'll take this yellow striped one. Um, I want to... I want to cover the white out, so I'm going to put this one here, like that, and then this one, I will go over, try to put it down straight, if I can, sorry, I feel like my hands are blocking the view, is that straight? That's straight-ish. All right, and then we do have a small space there. I don't think, hmm, don't think I'll be able to fit anything in just there, unless I do some of these leaves. Oh, I think that looks cute. Yep, yeah, like that. We'll just do some of the leaves. And I think that will look cute. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And sorry, my cat's deciding she wants to have a chat. Okay, so we have this. Now the functional part. So I tend to put a box that I can write in on each of the days that I plan on filming. Now, I am so far behind on my filming that I am hoping to have a video for every day this week. That's my hope. I mean... We'll see if it actually comes through. So I will be putting a box on every day of the week, and then I'll add some deco around it. Hi, Jude. She really wants to chat. She doesn't usually, but today she wants to chat. I guess she wants to say hi to all of you. I don't even know if you can hear her, but she sounds pretty loud on my end. Now, I do have these kind of smaller size boxes, or... I can use these larger boxes. So I think I may alternate some of the larger ones with some of the smaller ones. And I don't usually use the ones that have the words in it because I lay them uh, horizontally instead of vertically. I could cover it with deco, but I will only do that if I absolutely have to. So let's go ahead and pull this one first. And we'll start it off on Monday. So I'll put this one right up against here because we have deco right to the left of it. So I'm not going to put more deco right there. All right, so we have that one. And then let me get this green one here. And I'll put this one down on 
Thursday just to leave some room between the two larger boxes so that they're not like gathered together. And let's see, let's go back to the smaller boxes. If I can find them, I think they were closer to the start of the book. Yep. So I'm going to use, let's see, this orange one would probably look cute right here. And when it comes to these boxes, I essentially just write the title of what it is I will be uploading that day. So I don't need a great amount of space. Um, but I do need some space, so we'll do that. Uh, you'll notice I n never add stickers that have coffee icons or the word coffee because I do not drink coffee. I'm not a fan of coffee. So, all right, I'm going to use this box because it has the leaves, but I can put it down horizontally and it doesn't really mess up the look of it just because I find these boxes are slightly small. Oh, you know what? And these ones have the rose gold. I really like the rose gold. Let me pull this one up. And I will put this one right here. If I can get it straight now that it's all curled. Alright, and then let me use one of these rose gold ones. Just, I know I don't really have any metal anywhere else on this spread, but I mean, it's my favorite. have to add it. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll probably move this one over, and then I'll be able to add deco on the inside. So let me move it right here. And then we can have deco on the inside. Now I'm not going to add another large box there because it would be too much. So can I go back to the smaller boxes? Where were they? Right there. And let's do... What color do I want to add? I don't like that it says to do. I could maybe cover that with deco, but... Alright, let's just do this peach one. And I will cover the to-do with a bit of deco. I have these leaves. I will white it out a little bit because it's very dark. I don't really want it to show. Um, let's try... Let's try these leaves. I think that works pretty cute. Okay. Now we can add some deco in the middle and around just to fill it in. So I think I'm not going to go with the clear ones. I will maybe add some of these. I do want to stay with these leaves because I think they are gorgeous. Let's see if I can put that one there. And... Let's put this one right here, maybe. And now we can add some of these adorable pumpkins. Just randomly. I'm not really just like I'm not picking out where exactly, but I just want it to look cute. And what other deco do I have? I know I have more deco in this book. It's just a matter of finding it. All right, there we go. So let's, let's go back to our cute little squirrel that we couldn't add before. And I think there's like a black dot or something on that sticker that's stressing me out. I think I might put this little guy right here. Oh, that's so cute. And I will add a piece of pumpkin pie right here. And let's add some leaves, these bigger leaves here, just to fill it in 
just a little bit. Like I said, I don't need a super huge amount of space to write as long as I have enough to write the name of the video. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe add in some acorns. Um, maybe right here. And... Is this an oak leaf? I, I will be honest, I am horrible at knowing the differences between the leaves. The only leaf I am sure of is a maple leaf. Well, you know, if I didn't know what a maple leaf looked like, I'd be one really, really sad Canadian. <laughs> so, but that is literally the only leaf that I am 100% sure of when I look at it. Other than that, I have a hard time knowing what kind of leaf it is. So, if you know, that's the maple leaf. If you know if that's an oak leaf or not, I would I would love to know. I think I need just one more thing here, and I think I'll add this. Now, this is not coffee. I know I said I don't add coffee things, but this to me is hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate. All right. So I think that is our spread for this week in the Happy Planner. I think it looks pretty cute. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've actually used Happy Planner stickers. Um, you can tell it's not, it's a little bit jumbled because I'm not, it's not usually my thing, but I like how it looks. So let's put it back in the planner and see it on the discs. All right. And it will be good to be using this planner again this month since it, I essentially took all of September off from using it. So this is my final spread for this week in my YouTube planner, I'm going to call it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put this together. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.